Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I want to give you a very quick overview of the idea of gravitational potential energy. Now, I do have a video where I go into much greater detail, and I encourage you to check that out up here or in the description below. But today is just a small nugget. Please like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Now, when we talk about gravitational potential energy, we're talking about raising an object within a gravitational field. Its energy changes by way of its position. So if this is the Earth, and we're going to move it away from the Earth, when we move it this way, we are increasing the gravitational energy. Now, generally speaking, when we say gravitational energy, we often refer to it as the idea of U. We use that symbol, and is equal to mgh is the change or increase in gravitational potential energy, but that assumes that the gravitational field strength or the acceleration due to gravity, which is the g symbol, is constant. And it's not. It actually is going to be something that gets weaker the further we get away. And so that we look at it now from a larger perspective. And the way that we think about it is, what is the gravitational field strength when we are at an infinity point away and we put infinity over there and we make this for the value zero. And so that leads us to the definition of the gravitational potential energy. And it's basically saying, well, what's the work done by moving it from a point over here to a point, let's say over here, which is a distance of R, where R is equal to the distance from the center of mass, in this case, the Earth. And because we're doing work in that direction, we're actually going to get a negative value. And that value ends up being equal to negative capital G, which is a gravitational constant, the mass of this planet over here, the mass of the object divided by R. Now, the derivation of that formula comes out of calculus and with the Newton's law of gravitation. And in most high schools, you don't need to know that. But that's the definition. And that makes it the point that if we're, if we're moving it in that direction, we're doing work, we're actually increasing it. Because this value is always negative along here, and the value is zero over here. If I go this way, we're going to get values that are actually smaller in size in terms of negative numbers, but it is actually increasing. And so therefore, you're still increasing the gravitational energy this way and we're decreasing it this way, it's becoming more and more negative as we move this way. Which means if we were to look at this from a graphical perspective, then when we put the gravitational value of u over here, and we put r on our x-axis, we're going to get a graph that looks like this. It's a hyperbola. It approaches zero, but never gets to zero. And that here is the distance of the r that we're talking about right there. That gives us an understanding of gravitational potential energy. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this is helpful for you, and maybe buy me a coffee. Bye now.